So how long will you have someone else have you to wait? How long will you have them to have you wait for the things that you deserve right now, that you deserved yesterday? How long will you be on someone else's timeline? How long will you be out of synchronization for your own life? How long will you wait longer than you should have to or ever needed to? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hey, you guys, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm giving you, you know, another excellent reason why you will have to distance yourself from a narcissist and generally from most toxic people because this is the energy that they're in. They will always cause delays in your life. Mm -hmm. Number one, they're causing it in their own life. Okay, because they are delayed. You know, yes, they can be mentally slow or mentally ill. Yeah, that's a part of it. But they're emotionally stunted. So that delay right there makes them extremely immature. Okay, so the way that they're processing their life, the way they're moving and shaking and going about things in their relationships and, you know, even with themselves is causing delays. So what else could they do when they come together with another person, but start to pull that energy into your life? Now, sidebar, if you are connected with a narcissist and, you know, you made that choice with your eyes as wide open as they were at the time. There's probably some delay energy within you too. But the beauty of that is you're coming together with this other person and through that experience, as life is a classroom, you guys, you are getting the opportunity to see where your delays are. Because what they're going to do is take any delays that you are experiencing and increase it, you know, and if, if there's a delay in your self-love, your self-care, okay, your boundary setting, for instance, right? What they'll do is come into your life and cause further delay. So you'll go into that relationship seeking to toxically fill the void of, I feel like love is missing from my life. But you'll, in the end, there was a delay because they didn't give you the love either. <laughs> if anything, it's a greater hole there because now... You're going to have to heal from that abuse and that toxic relationship and those experiences. So, you know, it's a further delay and you have not gotten to that love while in the relationship. Okay. Now, through the experiences of that relationship, you can end those delays by having the proper, you know, self-awareness and self-reflection. And then, of course, the actions that are going to be in place with correcting that. Okay. But yes, these people cause all type of delays and we're just talking about emotional and psychological, but you know, people have been set back financially. People have been, you know, set back sexually, you know, and then after the relationship, you are going to have to work to get back in touch with your sexuality and, you know, feeling comfortable with that aspect of yourself again. So delays, this is what these people cause. They want to put you in a bondage of your delayment. Now, let's talk about this on a spiritual level. This is happening because, like I've said in many other videos, just like there's a light energy that wants you to prosper and fulfill your destiny and be your, tap into your higher self and evolve you know, and get the best that this life has to offer you. There's another energy that's countering it. A yin with a yang, right? And God gives us free will, you guys. He gives us free will to choose who we're going to get in bed with. All right. And if it's going to set us back, of course, these are causing delays. But like I said, the beautiful thing about that is God can use anything for his good. And even that delay can turn into a catalyst that will surely prepare you out, propel, excuse me, you out of that energy, you guys. All right. But it's so important to make that connection. And I've made other videos along the lines of valuing your time because that's something you can never get back. You know, anything material 
money and stuff. You can make money. It comes and goes. It's just a tool. It's an energy. You know, whatever you feel like that person may have taken from you, you can get it back. But it's your time that you can't. You know, so when survivors come to me and they're upset about things that may have gotten stolen or taken or, you know, them over in the relationship. Um, I always point that out. You can get that back and you will. You will. God is a good God. He sees everything. He does. He'll give it back to you. He'll give it back to you. But give yourself your time back. All right. So please, you guys, be, you know, aware of the delays of being in relation in these types of connections and time that you can never get back. All right. Let's respect our time. God's not waking us up for nothing. Let it, let's respect it and require that other people respect it as well or else, or else, unapologetically or else. All right, you guys, talk to you next video.